Today we're gonna take you on a full tour of our Grand Design Imagine travel trailer. We're gonna open every drawer, every door on the outside and the inside of our home on wheels. This is gonna be fun. We're George and Chris. This summer we started a year-long RV trip across North America. These first few weeks have definitely been a crash course in RVing. We've dealt with flat tires, the joys of dumping sewage. It smells so bad. <laughs> This is horrible. I don't want to be your cameraman right now. Smells of unknown there causes. Is, there is a stench coming from inside. Hot nights. Look, the high today was 105. And it currently feels like that inside of the camper. Almost getting stuck. Oh, that does not. And much good. more. But it's also been filled with gorgeous sunrises, breathtaking sights, hysterical moments, and memories we will never forget. After spending some time exploring Banff, Glacier, Yellowstone, and Grand Teton National Park, we figure it's time to take a day and give you a tour of our RV. It's been a long time coming, but we're finally going to take you on a tour of our 2021 Grand Design Imagine XLS 23VHG. Just to give you an outline of the tour, we're gonna start inside and then work our way outside. The first thing you notice when you walk in is our lovely kitchen. So let's go take a look. Something that we love about our kitchen and the rest of the RV is that it's a neutral color scheme. A lot of the RVs that we toured and walked into were really, really dark, dark wood, dark countertops. So we really appreciate the design that Grand Design did with the lighter countertops in the lighter wood. One of the things on our wish list for an RV was that we had ample counter space and look what they have, a little extra right here. So when our slide is out, we can lift that up and extend our counter space. Super awesome. Moving on to our sink, we have a full residential size sink, so there's plenty of room to do the dishes, especially because we don't have a dishwasher. And they included this awesome drying rack right here that can extend over the whole sink in case you need more counter space. We really love the faucet of our sink because it extends like this and it has two options for the water. There's a flowing stream and then more of like a shower stream. Right above the sink we have two storage compartments and we have most of our dishes. So when we got this RV they didn't have these little basket containers so we got those off of Amazon and that helps us stay way more organized. So on the left here we have our bowls, our plates, um, our utensils, some chip clips and on the right we have most of our Tupperware and coffee mugs. One thing I love is my new handy dandy coffee pour over, what's it called? Let me get it out for you. So this is my new pour over. I think that's what it's called. So we also have a coffee machine, but the reason we needed this guy, when we're camping off grid, we're not hooked up to electricity, but we do have access to our propane so we can still boil water and make coffee this way instead. And to the left, we have our microwave, our stove. This is actually a three burner stove with a glass top surface. And above it, you can do a light or a fan. And right here is our oven where we keep our baking sheets right here. And there's a really cool little blue light that you can turn on. And this is my first time cooking with propane and it's actually been really awesome because it heats up super quick. Under here we have our pots, our pans, our salad bowls, and our coffee machine that we use when we are hooked up to electricity. And in here we keep our Clorox wipes and our cleaning supplies for our tanks. And then underneath we keep our aluminum foil for baking. One thing about this RV, it has a ton of storage, but sometimes the storage is really hard to get to. These are pretty skinny, but they are very deep. Like my entire arm goes back. <laughs> All right, under the sink. Da, 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 da. Under here, we keep a plethora of items. We keep our essential oil diffusers and our lantern. Again, these are things we use when we're hooked up to electricity. We also keep some extra cleaning supplies, my Instapot, trash bags, some extra napkins, and some dish towels back here. Let's go to the refrigerator. Here we have our freezer and our refrigerator. Let's open the fridge. All right, we have most condiments right here. We have a little smattering of other things. This is a very important shelf because it's where we keep all of our water containers. Containers. Being that we boondock a lot, we have to store a ton of water, so we have quite a bit of water bottles in here. And fruit, some drinks, some lunch meat, some eggs, some bread, you know, just the, the staples. In our freezer, we don't have much, but we do have the important things. AKA Uncrustables, <laughs> burger patties, garlic bread, and a lone popsicle. <laughs> right next to the fridge, we have these two shelves right here. The top one carries more kitchen supplies like cutting boards, toaster, blender, tea kettle, all that kind of a thing. And underneath, I have my baking section. So way back here, 
Again, very funny shaped spaces. But if you reach all the way back there, you can find my flour, my sugar, my baking powder, all of that. So we try to keep things that we don't use a ton in the back where it is kind of hard to reach. And then the things that we use more, we keep in the front. Underneath, this is our coffee drawer. So George organized this. Well, he organized a lot of it. He's better at that than I am. Here we have our coffee my coffee filters, some Splenda, some tea bags. Well, along with the coffee, George keeps his chocolate in here. George isn't really a coffee guy, but he is a chocolate guy, so we have my coffee and his chocolate living together in peaceful harmony. Right under that, we keep all of our kitchen utensils, so we have some salad mixers, spatulas, and my favorite, some tongs. In the last drawer on this side, we keep our Ziploc bags, and we have our lighters, some parchment paper, and some plastic wrap. And on the other side of the kitchen, we have our pantry. Up top, we're keeping some things you wouldn't keep in your normal pantry, but we're using the space that we got. So we have some toothpaste, our wipes, some tissues. This is George's favorite because he loves his beans. We keep all of our canned goods in here, some peanut butter, of course, some Nutella. On this side is all of our seasonings. Eventually, I think I may want to get a seasoning rack, but for now, that works great. And this, I'll have George explain in just a second because it's not really my thing. Underneath, we have some rice, some ramen, some pasta, oats, and we have our own little huckleberry section. If you don't know, huckleberry is very popular in the Montana, Wyoming area. My mom and dad stocked us up with tons of huckleberry huckleberry products. Right here we have huckleberry topping and some huckleberry syrup. Right next to that we have a little snack section where we have a huge thing of popcorn kernels, some beef jerky, some trail mix, some nuts, anything like that that if you have the munchies you can go in there and grab. And underneath we have our produce section. And by the way, these baskets are also from Amazon. They're similar to the ones we have above the kitchen. They're the exact same. They're the exact same <laughs> ones we have above the kitchen. And again, they just help us stay organized. So here we have some produce. We have some tomatoes, lemons, and limes. We normally also have some avocados and maybe some garlic in there. And to the right, we have a huge bag of croutons because we just like croutons on our salad and some olive oil. And while we're down here, we're going to show you our little shoe cubby, which is right here. We try to keep this place as clean as possible. So every time we come inside, we kick off our shoes and we don't even see them. So we love that. And it happens to be right behind our dinette. So this functions as our dining table, our office table, and it also turns into a bed. And right above our dinette, we have two pretty large cabinets. Right now we're using them for various things like lunchbox, purse, our jackery, some chips, burger buns. I'm sure we could find a more functional way to use these cabinets in the future. But right now we're just putting some extra stuff there that we don't know where else to put. Oh, and by the way, I forgot. This reminded me because this cushion just fell down. So if you don't want this look to the cushions, you can turn it and you can have this pattern in case you want something a little more cozy, a little more homey. And this side, just think it looks a little more modern and it's easier to keep clean because you can wipe this material way more easily than that cloth material. Moving on from the dinette, we have our bathroom. Right here, they included this awesome towel rack. We decided to put another one above it just for extra towel racking. And when you come inside. All right, okay. excuse me. Uh, excuse mm, me. Okay. okay. All fun. right. <laughs> so here we have our bathroom. We have a little bit of counter space, but we make do with it. We have a medicine cabinet right here that we have a section for my stuff, a section for George's stuff. And we put these containers right here. They don't fit perfectly, but they work. And under the sink in this big cabinet, we have some extra bathroom cleaning supplies, our toiletry bags, and some wipes. Two more storage areas right under the counter. The top shelf we use more for medicine. And in the bottom shelf, we keep more of our hair stuff. So we have shampoo, some lotion, all that good stuff. Then we have our main attraction, our beautiful throne. This is our toilet, is very easy to clean. Has a little flush pedal. So instead of flushing with your hand, you flush with your foot. And there's a little bit of room on this side of it to keep a mini trash can. And behind the toilet, we have four storage areas. Excuse me. <laughs> we keep our towels, some extra bathroom products. This is the poop drawer because we have Febreze, we have poopery, and we have some flushable wipes. So we got you covered. The bottom shelf, I keep my hair dryer, my curling iron, stuff I really haven't used that much, but just in case I need it, it's there. And last but certainly not least is the piece de resistance, our big, beautiful shower. Very high. 
high. Of course, I'm very short, but I feel like even a tall person would be comfortable in this. It has a removable shower nozzle, so you can get really clean everywhere you need to get clean. And it's also really beautiful. It has this nice textured wall, some faux brick, if you will, a nice little mosaic design, and a couple of shelves to keep some soap or washcloths or what have you. Oh, and this. Alright, moving on out, we have two bunks right here. So they're each double-sized mattresses, they have a light, they have two USB ports, and these lovely curtains we have here did not launch these. <laughs> Bless you. Thank you. <laughs> these lovely curtains you see here did not come with the RV. They were actually made out of a throw blanket by our very dear friends. That throw blanket was $5, by the way. They cut it in half. They took the, what is this called? Hem. They took the hem from- I think it's the hem. <laughs> they took what we think is the hem from the old curtains, sewed it onto these, and now we have these beautiful, way more aesthetically pleasing $5 curtains. <laughs> and underneath the bunks we have our dirty clothes bin and we have our trash can and oh, some cleaning supplies laundry detergent paper towels our broom our mop we keep all of this kind of stuff underneath so it's kind of hidden and tucked away i'll clean this up later because let's go to our last stop the master bedroom our mattress is actually a queen size bed not an rv queen size a regular queen size bed it is very comfortable the previous owners left us a little foam padding, some extra cushion. Above the bed, we have a his and her closet area. I just organized it this morning just for you guys. Da -da -da -da. When we first moved in, we tried hanging all of our clothes up on this rack up here, but we realized it got really crowded really quickly. So we ordered these clothing cubbies off of Amazon. It allows us to use the space much more efficiently because there's still room behind it. Again, my arm's going all the way back, and I do have a little bin with my bathing suits and extra pajamas and stuff like that. Underneath our closet, we have two drawers. I keep my shirts in this one, and I keep my pants slash leggings in this one. And right above all that, we have two extra shelves. We keep all of our winter items in here, so jackets, sweaters. Let's go check out George's side. So uh, <laughs> as you can see right here, we have this closet hanging shoe bin, and now we've converted it into an undergarment bin. <laughs> we have our like thick hiking socks. We got underoos. And then here on uh, my side of the closet, on the top shelf of the cubby, we have my white slash neutral shirts. Right here, we have all my black shirts. And at the bottom, we have all of my shorts and pants. At the top, we have some more long sleeve stuff. And just like Chris, in this cabinet, we have all of our winter stuff. And we have my underwear drawer. And then the bottom drawer, we have like my short sleeve shirts, if you will. Got some charging cables, stuff like that. The truth is we have packed way too many clothes. We have not even touched a fraction of this stuff. Now we haven't gone through winter yet, so I'm hoping we're gonna utilize this a bit more. And that is my side of the bed. One thing we haven't mentioned is on each side of the bed, we have some electrical outlets. There's two right here. And what's really cool is George and I have our own cubbies with two USB ports and an additional electrical outlet. Above the bed, we have some moon lighting. There's two settings to these lights. The first one is a blue light, and the second one is just a nice little tungsten light. So we went over the bed, now let's go under the bed. Okay, so under the bed we have like this miscellaneous garage, if you will. We have extra clothes, we have games, we have our hiking backpacks, we have even more cleaning supplies right here on the wall. And one of my favorite features is we have this drawer that moves that I actually converted into a camera gear drawer. Our batteries, our mounts, tripods, our main camera, and I also added this power strip in here and all the various power chargers for our camera gear. I Velcroed it to the bottom and you can charge everything easy because all you do is take the power strip cable out of here and plug it in to my side of the bed. Super cool. And one thing we forgot to mention because we rarely use it, we have this TV right here that is actually on a pretty cool mount. It comes out. Check this out. Folds. <laughs> <laughs> As we make our way outside, let's stop at our command center. This is where we access quite a few of the systems here in the RV. Right here is where we can actually bring our slide in and out, our awning in and out. This is where we can turn on our water pump, our water heater via gas and electric, our lights, 
and also where we can turn on our exterior lights under our awning. And we can also see what the different levels are on our systems. We can see our battery level, our fresh water tank, our two gray tanks, and our black tank as well. And we also have a super cool radio here that is Bluetooth compatible. Let's go outside now. All right, outside the RV, there's really not much, so we're gonna probably go through this pretty quickly. So here at the tongue of the trailer, we have two batteries, two 20 pound propane tanks, our power jack, and we also have this PVC pipe that we installed that actually houses our weight distribution bars while we're camped at places like this. And where are we? Oh, I don't even think we've mentioned that my hair. <clears throat> I don't think we have mentioned this, but we are actually boondocking just outside of the Grand Tetons. Those are the Grand Tetons. Those are the Grand Tetons, and we're parked here camping for free. It still blows my mind that this is allowed, but let's make our way around. And right here we have our first storage compartment. This is a full pass-through storage, meaning meaning it goes all the way to the other side of the RV. In here, we have our utility center where we do our water hookups. We have a couple of outlets here, our battery disconnect. One thing I love about this wet bay is we can actually send the hose right up through here into here so that we can get water to the RV without having to leave this compartment open. We have, we have quite a few tubs that we actually bought off Amazon. These 10, I'm pretty sure they're 10 gallon tubs. They fit perfectly in here when you stack them. This is for power, extra power stuff water these have um, water jugs we have our 30 amp power cord back there a couple water hoses we have a light over here making our way back you can see our one slide our kitchen is actually what is on this slide and down below it right here we have a sewage termination point this is our first gray water tank and this is basically just our kitchen sink and then back here we have our second sewage termination point this is where the black tank comes out and our second gray water tank which is our bathroom sink and our shower and right over here you can can see one of our four stabilizers. Basically, we drop these when we're camping to help eliminate some of the bouncing when we're walking around. These are not meant to lift the RV. They're only meant to stabilize it. We have a ladder here that leads to a roof. So that's actually where I keep our solar panel. And we added this cargo carrier, which we've used for different things in the past couple of months. We've put our generator on here. Right now it is actually holding our black tank sewage tub because I want it outside of the truck. And then over here, we have probably one of the coolest compartments on the entire RV. Ta-da! We have a two burner outdoor kitchen stove. It runs on propane. As you can see in these compartments around the stove, we're using it for storage right now. Originally, this actually had a, a small mini refrigerator inside, but because of the kind of camping that Chris and I thought we were gonna do, we really didn't have a use for a mini fridge. We had far more use for storage. We have a couple more outlets. We have a cable hookup right here. And here we have our gravity fill for our freshwater tank. Basically, we use this if we're ever in a location or a time where we need to fill our tank, but we don't have access to city water with pressure. We basically just take jugs of water and pour it right in there. And then right here, you have our steps into the RV, our front door, our really nice handle. You got our massive awning right above your head that um, can actually be, you can see it right now, it actually will move on its own to kind of help alleviate stress on it from water and wind. Though you, of course, never want to have your awning out when it's super windy because it can literally rip the side of your RV off. And here we have our last storage compartment, which is the other side of the pass-through storage that we first showed you. And this is where we store all of the tools and things we need to hitch up the RV, level the RV. So we have our wheel chocks, levelers that we use for under our power jack. We have toolboxes and a couple of really neat things I wanna show you. The RV actually does not come with this pegboard. Some of our really good friends helped us install this pegboard so that I could mount all of our tools here so that it doesn't take up space on the floor of this compartment because really there's not much. Now it doesn't always work perfect to be honest. Sometimes the things come out, but the OCD part of me really loves being able to organize our tools like that. And then even up here, I don't know if you noticed, um, they also helped us install these straps so that we can hang things from the top like fishing poles or right now a broom. And while this did not come with our RV, it's an essential part of any campground that we set up. We have two zero gravity chairs that we got from Amazon. And this is how we take in the views of the Grand Tetons here at our boondocking spot. Well, I think that is it for our grand tour. If there's anything else you guys would like to see, please do let us know and we'll see you in our next video. Bye guys. <laughs>